Sup! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are looking at Junior High Series 2, Crystal, Bella, and Amaya. I want to give a huge shout out to my friends Brian and Ricky for giving me these for my birthday. These are my first three from Series 2. I actually did complete Series 1 of Junior High, but I just recently completed it, so I didn't want to do any videos on them. I did do a review on Skylar when she came out because, duh, Skylar. But today we're actually going to look at three of the new Series 2 dolls, and I'm very excited because this series is actually really cute, and I think they really upped their game from the first series. We are on day 14 of Dollsmas. This is the second quarter of Dollsmas because the first quarter was like just doing hair stuff and projects and this one's just mainly reviews of dolls you may want to gift someone for Christmas. You know? You know. It is going to be a bunch of older doll reviews, but I hope you guys enjoy them nonetheless. But before we look at these girlies, uh, let me roll my intro real quickly and we can get started. Are you ready to jingle your bells? Okay, nope, Bella. Junior High Series 2. I really didn't think they were going to do one because I didn't know how well these would have sold, but I guess they are doing more. Consider Junior High, Rainbow High's version of the LOL Tweens, but the LOL Tweens are worth their money. These guys are ringing up for $24.99 and don't come with doll stands. They only come with their bags, the doll, and a comb. That's it. While a tween is like $19, they come with like a nice full outfit, a stand, all that other jazz. So yeah, I really wish that Junior High was the same way, but you never know. They might fix it if they do a Series 3. But today we're looking at Crystal Bailey, Bella Parker, and Amaya Rain. I'm very excited to get these girlies open because like I think they really upped their game from the first series like I said. I think they all look really cute. They all look different and unique so I'm obviously here for that. Let me show you one of their boxes and then we can get them open. So I'm gonna show you Amaya. <laughs> it says let your true colors shine and it says series two Amaya Rain. We have Amaya in the middle holding her little backpack and she's just tied in you know. The side says Rainbow High Junior High. There's also a sticker that says watch them on YouTube at Rainbow High. And then there's this really cute illustration of Amaya. On this side it says Amaya is a fashion design focus. And then on the back you can see three of the six characters in this series. We have Stella, Bella, Amaya. I don't have Stella, Karma, or River yet. On the bottom it says go back in time to meet your favorite students before they became friends and followed their creative dreams at Rainbow High. And yeah it only shows three of them on the back. And if you're looking for Amaya here is her barcode. As for Bella's box it says pretty much the same thing. And there is her little artwork and there is her barcode. And then we have Crystal, cute her little artwork is. And here is Crystal's barcode. So go ahead and take screenshots of these if you're still looking for them. I actually went to Target today and did not see any Rainbow High dolls. So that might be a good sign, but also Monster High was not either. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to go off camera and unbox them. There is no ASMR cutting bits in any of the Dolls Miss review videos because it's going to be too long. So let me get these open and I will be right back. Okay guys, so the girls are out of their box and they look like they play iPad games and Roblox and all that jazz. I don't know, what do kids play? <laughs> they were actually pretty easy to open. That's one thing I like about the Junior High dolls. They're just a few snips and they're free. But guys, before we get into these three little guys, let me show you everything they came with. Each girl came with a comb. Crystal's is indigo, Bella's is pink, and Amaya's is black. All of them are transparent and have embedded glitter. Crystal doesn't really need a comb because she has the little afro puff, but um, okay. Then last but not least, each girl came with their own little backpack. So looking at Bella's first, it is this really cute pink satin tufted backpack that has a bunch of jewels on it, gold and diamonds. There's also a big heart in the center that's gold plastic that says RH on it. And there's also some fake gold chain embroidery on the bottom. Rainbow High kind of does that sometimes. There's also a little holder so she can hold it. And the backpack does open with some Velcro and there's some stuffing inside to keep it shape. As for the straps on her backpack, they are made of that fake chain again and there's some gold hardware. Mine's has seem to come undone but I think it is pretty easy to fix. But yeah that is Bella's backpack. The next backpack we're going to be looking at is Crystal's. It is an indigo kind of satin material as well and it has a bunch of stitch work on it. There are some loose threads but I'm just going to cut those off. In the middle you can see there's a little RH and it has a little it has one of those little dangly things I forgot what they're called but um, it's all plastic. Her bag also has straps but it also has this really cool chain detail so she can hold it like a purse. Hers also opens with some velcro. Last but not least is Amaya's backpack. I think this is actually really really cool. A black backpack with rainbow stitch work all the way around. It has a faux zipper to show that she has like a pencil case in there or something. And it has a gold rainbow logo that's made of plastic. She also has some faux zippers right there because her backpack opens with velcro as well. And the straps are rainbow of course because it's a Maya. Okay guys, so now we're going to start looking at the dolls. We're going to look at Crystal first because she is my favorite. I love her so much. So I actually got my Crystal Bailey around two years ago in December of 2020. So it's wild to have this one two years later 
later, so love that for us. This is Crystal's second appearance in the Rainbow High collection. She hasn't gotten another big doll since she pretty much dropped. This is her junior high doll. Her hair is made of the normal Rainbow High nylon. It's just into two little afro puffs, and it is multiple shades of blue and indigo. It's styled really nice, so like I don't even have to wash this or do anything to it. It's perfectly fine. I do got to get rid of these little jibbers in the back, but other than that, she's good. And she even has a middle part. Crystal also has some baby hairs. They're black and indigo. So she has brown eyebrows. And as for her makeup look, it is blue and it fades into a silver with some glitter. And it also buffs out with a more iridescent kind of transparent shadow. Her eyes are these really beautiful purple and blue, almost indigo kind of eyes. Her ears are not pierced. As for her lipstick, it is this really frosty purple color. If we move on to Crystal's outfit, she's wearing a two-piece set. The first thing is this really cool denim shirt that's like a jacket at the same time. It is indigo and it says sparkle and a bunch of other things all around it. There are some fake pockets and it also has fake buttons to look like it opens from the front but it actually all velcros in the back. This is actually a really cool piece and I'm not sure if this would fit like a normal rainbow high doll but that'd be really sick if it did. She's wearing an indigo satin skirt that has a fake zipper along with some belt loops and it is actually really cool. It kind of reminds me of a balloon for whatever reason and it all velcros in the back. I definitely thought she was wearing like another shirt underneath, but it's fine, I guess. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Crystal's outfit below. Crystal also has indigo painted nails. Now, one thing cool about Junior High Wave 2 is most of them have fabric shoes. So it seems like Rainbow High is going into the fabric shoe route, which I prefer over plastic any day. So she has these cute little fake leather indigo ankle booties that have black bottoms. And I think these are actually really cute. And I think Crystal would really like to wear these as a high schooler as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on her shoes down below. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Crystal down below. Below. Now let's move on to Bella. So this is Bella's look for junior high and I can't wait to put her and Jade next to each other. They didn't know each other when they were in junior high but I'm gonna pretend they did. So Bella has some straight nylon. It's in her signature pink color. She does have some gel in this bit right here but the rest of it seems pretty fine. The hair does look pretty choppy on this doll in particular and I'm not sure if it is because of how she looks right now or maybe if I wash it, it'll look better but yeah it's very choppy and it's just pulled into a sideways ponytail and has some hair wrapped around the bag. And she has this cute little ribbon that is a light pink and it is just wrapped around like an elastic. She has brown eyebrows and I just noticed that this one is smudged. As for her makeup, she kind of has something similar to her original doll, which is like this brown in the crease and the rest of it is just buffed out with a very, very light pink. She has purple eyes similar to Crystal and she has a bubblegum pink glossy lip on. She also has no earrings, so you would have to pierce her ears as well. If we move on to her outfit, she's wearing a two-piece set. So she's wearing Wearing a little white shirt that's supposed to look like it's a button up. It has a little white collar. She has very short sleeves and there's a little black bow. Then if we move on to her little tweed dress, it is pink and light pink and it has a white ribbon going down the middle with some black fake buttons and there are two fake pockets on the side as well and it all velcros in the back. But yeah, I really do like this look. I feel like this would have been really cute on the normal Bella dolls as well. And as for Bella's manicure, it is a light pink. Now if we move on to her little socks and shoes. She's wearing these white kind of like nylon socks and she's wearing these little pink heels that have pearls on the top and a silver bottom and there are bows at the tips. Honestly I think Bella's little junior high doll is actually really cute. Um, She looks really dumb. <coughs> she's just really cute. I don't know. There's something about junior high that I just like I was kind of not here for when they came out but now I'm just like look at them. <laughs> Anyways let's look at Amaya now. So Amaya, as you guys may know, I am Amaya's biggest hater because she exists. I do love Amaya with white hair though. I'm happy that this has made a return. So she as well has her hair pulled to a side pony. There's also a little hair wrapping around the band. Her hair is a platinum white along with the colors of the rainbow underneath with some tinsel, just like her original doll. She also has this gel bit right here to look like a little bang. And she also has two hair clips in her hair. They're both gold. One says rainbow with black paint and one says sparkle. As for the gel, in her hair is not too bad compared to Bella's. If we move on to Amaya's face, some dark brown eyebrows. Her makeup is very extra. It's blue, green, and yellow, and it's kind of ombre like the rainbow. There's some blue glitter on the top, and she has these really piercing blue eyes. She has these really glossy red lips on it. Once again, no earrings. She's also wearing a two-piece outfit. The first piece is this hoodie that is white, and it's actually made of a really soft material. It has two little gold embroidered holes right here to hold the string, 
and these actually can tighten the hood. The ribbon is made of an ombre ribbon and the hood is in the back. In the middle of the hoodie it says I don't speak fashion I am fashion which I kind of find cringy but like again in junior high you're wearing things like from justice so it kind of makes sense. These girls are like bougie so they're wearing like machino and stuff like that. <laughs> Amaya also has a light pink manicure and if I lift her hoodie she's also wearing this black tweed skirt that has some white and other rainbow threads mixed into it. I think it's actually really cool it almost feels like it's crocheted and both of these pieces velcro in the back. Now she definitely has the best shoes out of junior high wave too. They kind of remind me again of her salon doll but they're actually fabric this time. So this is how they should have been when they came out. They're these black thigh high boots that have a bunch of embroidery detail on them like fake chains that say rainbow. There's also some fake laces that you can actually tie and probably tighten it as well. They're made of a black fake leather material and they even have little beads at the end of the aglets. And the base of them are black. Now I don't know what middle schooler would be running around in these but I definitely want to see these for the Rainbow High students because I would love to give Lana Maya her proper shoes. But yeah guys that is the end of Maya so let me get all the girls together and we can have our final thoughts on these little gremlins shall we? Okay guys, so I put these two on like these Barbie stands and they're just being really held up with some rubber bands and I'm just holding Crystal's leg so she doesn't fall over. But that pretty much wraps up my review on three of the series two junior high doll. Once again, thank you so much Ricky and Brian for gifting me these for my birthday. I really love them and they're all super cute and I can't wait to put them next to their older selves. But anyways guys, I'll tell you my thoughts on series two so far. I definitely think that they have upgraded from the original series and the first series wasn't too bad but I do feel like they all look the same and there are are some kind of duplicates in this series as well with Bella and Amaya having kind of the same hairstyle but other than that I do think they did go outside the box with this one I do love the details that they added to the shoes like Amaya's shoes were so like amazing oh my god I also really love Crystal and also I just think this is a really good wave so I definitely recommend picking up a series two because so far they're looking really good now I kind of want to see series three but anyways guys let me know your favorite junior high doll from series two down below and if this is your first time watching my channel hi my name is Jay and I do doll stuff Duh. I'd love you to join my channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at zombiexcorn as well. And guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video, which is, I don't know. <laughs> but until then, bye.